Hi folks, Alan Clark here. Welcome to my channel where we encourage each other to be better and do good. Today we're going to be talking about, whoa, struck by lightning and other events that might happen that could cause us to think twice. If this is your first time here to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you're one of the regular viewers, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here as well. You know, normally my dad talks come out every Monday morning and they're all centered under the umbrella of, of how we can be better people and how we can go out in the world and do good. And that's what the kind of, you know, the topics are about. However, this week, this week you're going to get a bonus video coming out on Thursday and it's going to be something totally different. It's going to be my first travel vlog. So I would really, really love it if you would watch that on Thursday. If you like it at all, go down in below and give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share some comments with me if you would. I mean, let me know, do you like the travel vlog format? Do you like the dad talks? Which one would you rather see? Or would you like to see some of both going forward? And that will really help me out. And of course, I would really, really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. That would be great. But remember, a bonus video coming out on Thursday. It's a two for this week. Two for one, no additional charge for the travel vlog. Well, today, as I said, we're going to be talking about, whoa, struck by lightning. I've got a couple of stories to tell you that uh, happened to our family just, uh, just recently, just the last weekend. And um, I, I, I'll give you a spoiler alert, okay? I, I know this will ruin it for some of you, but others of you, I want you to be focused on what you can get out of this, not worried about our family. So spoiler alert, everybody is okay. All right, so everybody's fine. But there were a couple of things that happened that, that brought a lot of tension to us. And, and uh, the first one, well, uh, I, I want to take you outside, okay? I want to take you outside and tell you some things, show you some things out there. And here's what we're going to do. So we'll go outside for a few minutes, tell you the first story. Then we'll come back in here and I'll tell you the second story and then share my thoughts with it, kind of wrap it all up for you. We'll go from there. All right, let's go on outside. Come on outside with me here and we'll see what happened because it was kind of weird. So it was about 10 o'clock the other night and my daughter and I were right inside there in the downstairs family room. Out here it was thundering and lightning and raining and storming. And we're just watching TV, having a fun time before we go to bed and then all of a sudden this huge wham clap of thunder comes and wham, this big bolt of lightning. But I, I thought it was sort of close, but not super close, okay? So, all right, we stepped outside and it was dark as dark could be. I mean, it was pitch dark out here. No, 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 a little darker, a little darker. There you go, there you go. And, and it was pouring down rain and it was lightning going on. So what could we see? nothing it was nothing out here so i looked for flames i looked for lightning i looked for smoke i didn't see anything thought whoo okay that was close that night we saw nothing next day mostly thanks to our good neighbor john because he actually spotted it before i did we came out and right next to our house the lightning had hit the ground had struck the ground it whoa right here look at check this out lightning struck right there that is like eight inches eight inches from our house all this mud on the wall that was thrown up from the lightning strike this big hole which is two feet across was from lightning hitting the ground right next to our house oh struck by lightning eight inches from the house. But on the other side of this wall, 12 feet on the other side of this wall, inside the house is where my daughter and I were sitting watching TV, 12 feet away from this. 12 feet away the other way. Is our gas meter. 12 feet from the gas meter. 12 feet from the closest person inside the house, eight inches from the house. Once we realized all this, then this great 
feeling came over us, flooded over us of, of wow, thanksgiving, thankfulness, blessedness, protection, and just things to be thankful about, things to be fe feeling like we were blessed, and, and, and things to note what, not to try to get too worried about what might have happened or what could have happened, but because it didn't happen and we were all safe and we're all well and the house is still standing and we're all right. All right, well, welcome back inside and I'll tell you what, it's kind of scary, isn't it? Some of the things that happen that are so close and they could have been such close, well, it was a close call, but we're so very, very grateful. We have a, a, an attitude of gratitude and, and we're so thankful and so blessed that, hey, the house was not damaged, the gas meter was not hit, it didn't explode, and nobody was injured. So there's another story. Second thing happened that same weekend, in fact, the next day. So we, we were on the road. We were taking our daughter back to school for her senior year of college. And she had actually left about, oh, about 30 minutes ahead of us before we did. And so we were cruising down I-85 and all of a sudden slam on the brakes. Uh, traffic stopped, everybody sitting still as far ahead of you as you could see, nobody moving, everything still. Well, Lori gets up her phone and uh, immediately pulls up the, the traffic app and says, oh, this is not good. It stalled for several miles. And then she says, it doesn't say why. Oh, yes, here it is. Apparently, there's a really bad accident up there. Well, now, if you are a parent, if you're a mother or father, if you're a mom or dad, then you know absolutely what went through our hearts and through our minds and the lump in our throat for the next 15 seconds or so, you know, because you don't know what's going on. But, 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 thanks to, again, to the miracles of modern technology, we have another app on our phone, which the kids call the Stalker app. That's not really the name of it. That's just what they call it because we can keep up with where they are. Now, the flip side is they can keep up with where we are as well. And it's helped us out a few times but that's the next thing we went to was the stalker app and we were able to pull up Tracy on the app and see that she was not thankfully thankfully she was not in that accident she was ahead of it cruising on down the road and we were so relieved thankful and blessed but there was two things right there, back to back, that happened that would be what we call near misses, right? Close calls. And, and we're, we're so thankful that it was only a close call. Nobody was injured. No, the, the house was still standing. Nobody was injured in the lightning strike that hit the ground. And then here at, on the highway was this accident. And, and I don't know who was involved. I honestly don't. But I certainly hope they're okay. But I was so blessed and thankful that uh, we were behind it and our daughter was ahead of it. We were not in it. And you know, what that made me think of is, is in that moment, of course, both of those moments, we were so just grateful and thankful and felt so blessed and so lucky, if you will. But what it made me think of is, well, of course we did. It was a big thing. In fact, it was two big things that happened and we were not damaged. We were not injured. We didn't suffer anything from either one of them. And so therefore we, we felt so lucky and so fortunate and so blessed and so grateful that we were all okay. But, you know, I think that's normal, isn't it? That when bad things, big bad things potentially happen, and they don't, we can feel blessed, can't we? We can feel lucky. We can feel like, whew, missed that one. And I thought beyond that, how about all the little things? How about all of the little blessings that we have? All of the little things that are the good things in our life every day. I know when, when potentially we escape the bad things, maybe like Maxwell Smart used to say, missed it by that much, that we're grateful, we're thankful. But how about just every day? What I would like to encourage us all to do is just be mindful and thankful of all the little blessings we have each and every day. 
Uh, somebody posted a, 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 a this was on, on Facebook uh, a, a few weeks ago I saw it and that's kind of what got me started about all this and then these two events came up and and locked me in but they said remember today's blessings and forget about today's problems remember today's blessings forget today's problems now I know I know I know I know, I know. To, you, you, people are going to be saying you, you're going to be telling me Alan I can't forget my problems I've got to deal with my problems well I don't think that saying forget about all of your problems forever yes we have to deal with them we have to cope with them and we move on right but it did say today's so what I would like to encourage everybody to do, myself included, is for today. Just get out a paper and pen and a pencil and, and start making a list. Here are the things on one side of the column, on one side, that are bad. These things are going on. This is bad. This is rough. This is tough. I've got to get through this. But then go to the other side. Make a second column and start saying, but this is good. This isn't so bad. This, this is all right. This is a blessing. This is fortunate here. And, and, you know, maybe some of the things to help get you started. Were you able to get out of bed this morning? Did you have a bed to get out of? Did you have a floor to put your feet on when you jumped out of bed? Uh, did, did you have food for breakfast? Were you able to make breakfast? Did, did you have money to purchase that food? If you didn't have any food, did, were you able to go to the store to get some? Did you have a car? Did you have gas in the car? Maybe you had more than one car. I, you know, I don't know. But you start thinking about all the things because we are very, very, very blessed. And I, I know all the things I just mentioned don't apply to everyone, but there's a tons of things that would apply. And I believe that most of us, if we just started making a list, we could find the day that, hey, the list of good things is really a lot longer than the list of bad things. There are some things going on that aren't so great, but wow, what if I focused on the good ones over here? So if for one day I could remember the blessings and forget the problems, would you be better? Would you feel better? Would you be more encouraged? Would you be more motivated? Would you be more positive? I think maybe so. If we think about all of the good things that we have in our life every day and focus on those instead. Uh, Irving Berlin wrote a, uh, Irving Berlin wrote a lot of songs. One of the songs he wrote is called Count Your Blessings. And I believe the words are like, when I'm worried and I can't sleep, I count my blessings instead of sheep and I fall asleep counting my blessings. Well, that's a great thought. I love it. But what I want to encourage us all to do is not just fall asleep counting our blessings, but also wake up. Wake up every morning counting our blessings. That morning when our feet hit the floor and we have a new day to live, things to do, things to accomplish, remember that list of things that are good over here in our life and in our family and kind of, you know, negate the bad things instead of focusing so much on them. Count your blessings every morning. Count your blessings every day. Count your blessings every night before you go to bed. You know, I have used the phrase, I think, just a minute ago, and a lot of people have talked about the attitude of gratitude. We're grateful, we're thankful for the blessings, the gifts, the narrow escapes, the things that come our way, and we're able to keep going and keep focusing on all of those good things. If, the, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and remember, Thursday this week, you're going to get a bonus video. We'll see you then. Thanks very much.